not really what we're going for today. One, two, one, two, three, four. Welcome to today's fiddle lesson video. Today's tune is just a barrel of fun. We're gonna be learning a tune called Sandy Boys. I got a request to teach this tune and you didn't have to ask me twice. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune and the variation we're gonna to learn today, you can get those at the link in the description. All right, let's dive in and learn the tune. First off, we are going to figure out what key signature we're in so that we know where our left hand fingers are gonna go. We are in the key of We are in the key of A mixolydian, which other than being a really fun word, it's a really fun scale. Chances are, if you're a fiddler, you're not that into scales, but maybe you haven't discovered mixolydian scales. Mixolydian just means major, but with a lowered seventh. If you don't care about music theory, no worries, you don't have to. We're just gonna go ahead and play this scale. So starting with your open A, A, one, two, three, then E, one, low two, which is what makes it mixolydian, three. All right, now we've got our key signature. Let's figure out our time signature. This tune is in good old 4-4 four, four time. 4-4 four, four just means you have four quarter notes per measure. This tune is a reel. Reels are in 4-4 four, four time. So the general feel of the tune is one, two, three. Sometimes we'll have some eighth notes in there. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, we've got our key signature. We've got our time signature. Let's learn the tune. As usual, this tune has an A part, which is the first half, and a B part, which is the second half of the tune. Play each one twice. We're gonna be learning this tune by call and response, so we'll learn it by ear. I'll play each small phrase a few times. You can pause the video and try playing it back on your own fiddle at home. One of the times I play the phrase, I will put the sheet music up on the screen so you can follow along with that. It'll be color-coded by strings, so notes on the E string will be pink and notes on the A string will be purple. All right, so here is the first phrase of the tune. It starts with your third finger on the E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. numbers are three, low two, E, low two, E, three, two, A. One more time. The next phrase starts with that third finger on the E string again, and it goes like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers, three, low two, E, low two, three, three. The next phrase sounds very familiar because it's the same as the first phrase of the tune. It's gonna start again with that third finger on your E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Let's review those finger numbers. So it's three, low two, E, low two, E, three, two, A. And the last phrase of the A part will start with your open A and it'll go like this. One, 
two, three. So that's A, one, two, E, three, two, A, A. All right, that is the whole entire A part. Let's try playing it all the way through, nice and slow, two times. So here we go, starting with that third finger on the E string, one, two, three, Go. Let's move on and learn the B part. The B part starts with your open E, and here's how the first phrase goes. One, two, three, four. So notice that I'm doing two down bows at the beginning there. And there's a little rest in between. Here are the finger numbers. E, E again. One more time. Here is the next phrase which starts with your open A and it'll go like this. One, two, three. Finger numbers. A, one, two, E, three. A, one, two, E, three, two, A. next phrase will sound familiar again because it's the same as the first phrase of the B part. So that's kind of nice. So again, this starts with your open E. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers again. E, 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 three, two, A. phrase of the B part starts through open A and it'll go like this. One, two, three. That may sound familiar because it's the same as the last phrase of the A part. Basically this whole tune you're just mixing and matching things. So finger numbers there starting with your open A it'll go A, one, two, guys you have done it that is the entire B part let's play it all the way through nice and slow a couple times so starting with that open E and remember we've got two down bows at the beginning there so one two one two ready go that is the whole entire tune. Are you ready to give it a whirl? Now's the time to take out your trusty metronome. I hope you've made friends with your metronome at this point in your life. We're going to set it to 60 and we're going to play all the way through at a nice moderate pace. And that beat is going to equal one half note. One, two, a one, two, ready, go.
a nice easy going pace. If you want to play the tune at full speed, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. But wait, there's more. Now is the part of the show when I always do a little bit of a variation. Today's variation, not gonna lie, there's a lot going on. I'm gonna throw in some slides, I'm gonna throw in some double stops, I'm gonna throw in some pizzicato. I don't think we've even done pizzicato yet. I'm gonna do some melodic variations. It's it's just gonna, it's gonna be wild. Just remember, all of this stuff is optional. You can take or leave whatever you want and just add into the tune whatever you feel called to add in. All right, let's start at the very beginning of the tune. Our first variation is gonna be a rhythmic change. So here's what that's gonna sound like. So we're just adding a dotted note at the very beginning. Instead of playing, we're going, kind of holding that note a little extra. We're also gonna throw in a little slide, which you may have caught on to. It's your second finger on the A. It's gonna come in right here. Slide. Slides are super fun. I do them all the time. You can ask my students. I kind of maybe do them a little bit too much. You start them a half step below the note that your finger is gonna end up on. So we want our second finger to end up here, but we're gonna start on this note. And we're gonna slide up. Here's that whole phrase one last time. The next thing we're gonna do is a melodic variation. It's gonna start by anticipating the beat. We'll explain that in a moment. Here's how it'll sound. All right, so that's taking the place of the phrase that would go. We're starting that third finger note at the beginning of the phrase. We're starting that third finger note just a bit before the downbeat. So if we're going one, two, three, four, we're starting it on the four of the preceding measure. So we're going one, two, three. So that note just kind of jumps in a little early. Then we're doing a little melodic variation. So we're going back and forth between melody notes on the E string and the open A string. So we're going three, A, low two, A, E, A, low two, A. So it's. And the last part of this melodic variation comes in here. You're gonna start with your third finger and you're gonna go like this. So it's just three, four, three, low two, and then E, low two. Here is that whole entire phrase, starting with anticipating that third finger note. One, two, three. Then thank goodness we just play the normal tune for the rest of the A part. All right, those are the A part variations. Let's try out some fancy stuff in the B part. And this is where, I don't know, it's almost like annoyingly fancy, depending on who you ask. If you ask me, it's pretty cool. Here's what this next section is gonna sound like. We are gonna add in some left hand pizzicato. And if you're not familiar with pizzicato, what you're doing is you're plucking the strings with your left hand. Let's get a close up of that. So you start off by just using your third finger to pluck the A and the E string pretty much almost at the same time. And then your bow comes back in to play a double stop. So you're playing two strings at once, the A and the E. Your bow is just making a nice little plane across those strings. So here's how that's gonna sound. You're gonna do pizzicato, double stop. And now we're gonna move on with the tune but for the rest of this phrase, we're gonna be playing with our bow on both the A and the E strings. So it'll go like this. This can be a little tricky because your fingers are playing notes on the A string and you're playing the open E above that. So you really wanna be landing right on the tips of your fingers so that you're not accidentally catching the E string with your fingers. 
not really what we're going for today. All right, let's play that phrase one last time. So pizzicato, double stops. And then just normal tune. Again, let's try that pizzicato and double stops. And the normal tune. All right, those are all the variations. Whew, take a deep breath and let's play all the way through it. Setting the metronome again to 60. And I'll call out what we're doing with the variations as we go along. One, two, ready, go. Rhythmic change. And if you'd like to play that variation full speed, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. Just another note about this tune, you could basically play double stops the entire time. If you wanted to, you'd play this entire tune on both the A string and the E string. So this is what that might sound like. you guys that does it for today's fiddle lesson video i hope you had fun if you like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune and the variation we learned today you can get them at the link in the description huge shout out to my patrons on patreon.com who support me and keep the fiddle lessons coming if you'd like more fiddle tunes and techniques please do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in future videos have a wonderful day and happy fiddling bye guys